All right, uh, now let's talk about some, like, what would you call it? ease of use. Um, basically, for now we're going to categorize this. We're going to look at um, web surfing, uh, how easy it is to make documents or anything related um, to files, um, and then look at some of the movies or media features of Windows Vista and uh, Leopard. Now, let's just discuss. Um, now, I think of the two, obviously, Leopard would be better for uh, more media center if you're a more media center individual. Right, like artists or movie makers or anything like that. It, because uh, Macs do uh, ship with their own computers, so I mean, Apple has the advantage there where they can create their own hardware and what is actually needed um, uh, for the operating system to run on so they have those uh, required specifications that they build their computers for. Right, but I mean, Windows has always been known for, um, you know, just your basic functions, like right. what you need. Uh, if you need, you know, for your school homework, you make, you know, a Word document or right. something like that. Um, now, what about compatibility? That's compatibility, yeah. I mean, since Windows has been around for a very long time, I mean, so is Apple, but uh, seeing as Windows was able to create the majority market share and was able to get their product uh, uh, out there and for a cheaper price than uh, Apple was able to, they obviously gain the majority market share and therefore most third-party developers and most developers in general are more likely to uh, develop for the Windows uh, platform system than they are for um, for Mac OS X just because they do own so much of the market. Right, so I mean if you uh, like a lot of third-party applications and you don't feel like, because the majority of the users are going to have Windows computers anyway, um, so what we're here to discuss is whether or not, uh, which one's better and if you would want to switch, which one would be easier to use. Um, well, and uh, along those same topics, Windows, or er, Apple recently uh, released a new new software called uh, Boot Camp, which, a which actually allows you to uh, run Windows and Mac OS X on the same machine. Um, that was a problem up until now, but it's it's uh, drawing a few more users because now they realize that they're able to uh, run both operating systems and with uh, with uh, extra software like Parallels or VMware Fusion, you're actually able to run these operating systems simultaneously on Macs. Right, and that's something you can't do on a Windows PC or some a computer that has Windows um, originally. So um, as for um, files and making, all right, well obviously Mac computers are gonna be more expensive. Right. So unless you know you're gonna utilize these graphics or, um, you know, media features, mm -hmm. would you recommend going with a Windows computer or, um, you know, a Mac? Well, I mean, it's probably, if you, if you, if the price point is a definite concern for you, then you're probably going to want to go with a Windows-based PC. And also, if you're into gaming a lot, because um, uh, if, you're, if you're running these uh, virtual uh, deals where you got both operating systems running at the same time, it's obviously going to take up a good majority of your uh, processing power, and it's going to be harder to play yeah, games. And also, like speaking of games, which is a big deal for a lot of people, um, since Apple is the only provider up until this point, or they have another, I think, w that makes a mod book or something like that, a oh, tablet yeah. PC. Yeah. But other than that, you've got a very limited amount of people that make um, Mac OS computers. So you're going to have a lot more computer makers that are going to make Windows-based computers. So, and since the majority of the games are for Windows and there aren't a lot of, you know, graphic intense games for the Mac, um, if you are a gamer, definitely I would say go for Windows, but take Vista out and probably put XP or something like that on there. And, uh, and because Apple is the sole provider of uh, their computers, um, uh, you also get a lot less hardware, and uh, so I mean, if if you are looking at a Windows PC, it, the upgradeability and the uh, the uh, capability of what you're going to be able to upgrade it to is uh, far more advanced than a Mac uh, P, uh, machine because you they're really a lot harder to upgrade, and uh, you have a lot less components that you're able to upgrade them with. All right, now let's talk about system requirements, because that's a big deal, especially uh, for Windows users or for Windows XP users who want to switch to Vista. Um, the bare minimum uh, for Home Basic, of course, there are three versions, four versions of Vista that you can get, um, your Home Basic, Home Premium, Ultimate, and then for Business. Um, the majority of the users, if you buy a new computer, you're going to get home premium, and that's just fine. But for people who want to upgrade, 
Um, if you, you probably would want one gigabyte of RAM uh, if you do want to get home premium. But if you want to get basic, uh, 512, uh, 512 megabytes of RAM is the bare minimum. Um, and as for hard disk space, I think you need about like 8 gigs of memory to run uh, Vista. But I mean, everybody has more than 8 gigs of uh, you know, hard disk space. If you don't, then you probably need to get a new computer fast. Um, other than that, uh, graphics, you don't need a gra you, you can't run Vista with a, uh, as we've seen, it's more intense than XP when it comes to graphics. So you do need a pretty good graphics card. Good meaning it can it still be integrated. It's not a big deal. And uh, as far as uh, Leopard's concerned with that, you really don't have to, uh, you really don't have to worry about the system requirements too much uh, because like we mentioned earlier, Apple is a sole provider of their products. So uh, the only way to uh, run Leopard is if you have a Mac unless you uh, do some of the boot, uh, hacked bootloaders that they have. But of course, we don't encourage that so much. But um, uh, so you really don't have to worry about the system requirements. I mean, if you're wanting to run Leopard on an older Mac, Probably anything that's been made within the last year to two years is going to run just fine. Uh, just make sure you have at least one gigabyte of RAM. Uh, that's you probably have that. I mean, even with the old uh, Power Power Books and stuff, those had it, uh, about one gig of RAM. You really don't have to worry too much about the graphics card because although uh, Mac does have some very nice graphics, it's really not that power intensive and really doesn't take up uh, that much uh, 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 memory on your graphics card. So. So that's a basic look at uh, Windows Vista and uh, Leopard. And of the two, we've already discussed that if you are a graphic intense user or if you do like your media, then you probably want to go with Leopard. But I mean, Vista can do pretty much anything when it comes to making movies or uh, playing your media content that Leopard can. And if price point is, uh, is a big point for you or is a big concern, then you probably would want to go with a Windows Vista PC. But I mean, if money is no object, or if you can, I mean, if you really think about it with the features that you're getting and with the specifications that Apple provides. Um, and with the ability to run Windows. Yeah, that, that too. Then a $1,000 price range shouldn't be a problem for a lot of people because of, of the specifications you're getting. They have the latest Core 2 Duo processors. Right. And uh, they recently upgraded their RAM for MacBooks. And uh, you've got your nice iMacs. So I mean, there's no reason not to take Leopard uh, over Vista, honestly, I think. Yep. Right. Sounds good. All right. So that was our uh, semi-brief review of uh, both Leopard and Vista, and we hope it was a help, uh, helpful tool in uh, your uh, choice. Yeah. So thanks for watching GOG TV. I'm Rajesh. And uh, I'm Marshall. Thanks.